Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Cali Intake Garage. In this video, I'm going to install this Gold Strike LED lighted flagpole for this new Honda Goldwing. And this will fit Goldwing's Your Models 2018 through 2023. And also, I'm going to install the Gold Strike flagpole mount that actually holds the LED lighted flagpole. So stay tuned to this video and I'm gonna show you how to get the flagpole mount installed and we're gonna wire up the LED lighted flagpole and get it installed on this new style Honda Goldwing. So let's get started. I'd like to thank Gold Strike for sponsoring the Caliente Garage with this LED lighted flagpole and the flagpole mount for the new Honda Goldwing. This kit includes the LED lighted flagpole, the wiring, and a 6x9 American flag built in white LEDs that can be powered by any 12 volt source. The mount is sold separately. There's the mount. And it just shows you some different mounts depending on your application. So let's get this opened up. Get everything. So we got some gold strike instructions. Allen wrench, positive tap, uh, look like some heat, strength, wrapping, zip ties, off and on switch, another positive tap, Allen wrench, and we have some ring terminals. And we have some butt connectors. And this is the flag. And I think this is really gonna look amazing on the new Honda Goldwing. So this will be the American flag. So before I install this on the Honda Goldwing, I want to bench test the light just to verify that it works. Anytime you install lighted accessories on your motorcycle, you need to bench test your lights just to verify that they work. So I want to connect these wires to a battery just to verify that the light actually works. And you can connect this to any 12 volt source. You can connect it to the battery on the bike. So I'm going to take my battery. I'm going to turn off the light. And then I'm going to connect my red to the positive, black to the negative. And let's see if it lights up. And as you can see, there's the, the lighted flagpole. And now let's open up the, the mounting kit. Just gonna set that to the side. I have the bracket, some directions, and it has some additional hardware. So the items included will be the flag mount, spacer, nylon washer, 
a lock washer, a quarter inch screw, and an M6 by 50 millimeter screw. So looking at the Honda Goldwing, you have the option to mount the flag on the left side or you can mount it on the right side depending on your preference. For my installation, I'm going to mount it on the left side. So I'm going to open up the trunk of the Honda Goldwing. I'm going to open up the this package with the mounting bracket. Get that opened up. It's going to mount right at the corner where this line, it's a line right here, is going to mount right at that corner like so. So before we mount it, we're going to have to take some masking tape and we're going to cover, I'm going to cover the spot where I'm going to mount the flag. And this is going to prevent any scratches because we have to drill. I know some of you are not too crazy about drilling, but when you install these accessories, you must be prepared to drill. So we're gonna mark the center of the hole and the mount tab slot. And we're gonna go right on that line. I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna mark the spot where I need to drill. So before I drill, I need to get behind this panel. So we're gonna pop out the little plastic tab, push down, And I'm gonna pull up on this tab. Sit it there like so. So we have some screws located underneath that we need to remove. One, two, three Phillips screws that we need to remove. There is one. There is two. And these screws are near the top. There's two and there's one here that makes it three. So I'm going to pull out on this fender and we need to remove that, that Allen bolt directly underneath the tape where we need to drill. So now that I popped out the side fender, I'm not going to remove it. I just want to move it out just enough to get my five millimeter Allen. And I want to, I want to remove it. lift that five millimeter bolt out. Now that I have it out, I want to verify that I want to verify that this mounting hole is going to be directly over the bolt hole that I just took out. I'm going to take my one fourth inch drill bit. You can use a six millimeter if you don't have a quarter inch and I'm going to drill right through the spot for the mounting plate. So now that I drill through, I can remove the tape. So this is all of the hardware that came in the kit. We're going to tape this to the top side of the side fender. 
But before we do that, before we do that, we're going to put this spacer right into that hole with that little bevel in. We're going to put that spacer and then we're going to push the fender back onto the gold wing. I'm going to use my little pry tool. to just get it back into place. Okay, so we got the spacer underneath. I'm gonna take the long, I'm gonna take the long bolt that came in the kit, the little flat washer. And before we mount the mounting bracket to the top of the Hunter Gold Wing, we wanna clean off this area with some alcohol. I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and I just wanna clean off any wax because I wanna make sure that the bracket sticks. Clean off any wax, just wipe it down real good. I'm gonna take my mounting bracket and I wanna peel the 3M backing. And this is going to go with the long bolt that came in the kit with the plastic washer. It's going to go right over the top. I'm going to take that plastic push rivet. I'm going to put it back into position. Snap it back in. Now that it's snapped in, I'm gonna tighten down the mounting bracket like so, so it's tight. So the remaining hardware that came in the kit, we're gonna use it to mount the flag. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take the lock washer and then we're gonna take the flat washer and we're going to bolt that size would be a four millimeter and we're going to just screw the flag down onto the bolt. I'm going to take a 13 millimeter hold the bottom of the flagpole, take my Allen key, my four millimeter Allen key, and then I'm just going to tighten the flagpole to the mounting bracket. So now I can work on wiring the LED lighted flagpole. Now for my installation, I already have some wires here running to my trunk light that I previously installed on my Honda Gold Wing. So for my installation, I'm going to take the posi taps that came in the in the kit and I'm going to tap in to my existing positive and negative that I already have on my Honda Gold Wing. So I'm going to screw down the posi tap and now I can connect it. Just going to screw the positive to the positive. And I'm going to do the negative the same way. So I'm going to take the gray end of the posi tap that came in the kit. I'm just gonna spread open the, the posi tap. I'm gonna hook this one onto the, the negative. 
and you can wire this up underneath the seat. You can wire it up to any 12 volt source that only comes on with the key. I'm going to feed my negative through. I'm going to take my positive tap, push it, push it in, and then I'm going to tighten it down. And the way I have this already wired, it's not going to come on until the key is turned on. And I can tighten this down. And now I want to verify that the flagpole lights up when I turn on the ignition key. So I'm going to turn on the switch. As you can see, it lit up when I turn on the key, turn on the key. And this is going to be uh, a temporary connection that I have. I'm going to move it at a later date. So all I have to do now is just run my wiring. I'm just going to temporarily tuck it underneath the panel. And this is going to conclude my installation video of this Gold Strike LED lighted flagpole for this new style Honda Goldwing. And I like the way everything turns out. The chrome looks amazing. And one of the things that I really like about this particular Gold Strike flagpole is that you can change out the flag. All you have to do is take off this housing by removing the screws on the top and you can take out the flag and exchange it with a flag of your choice. So I really like the way the flag complements the new Hunter Goldwing. It really needed a flag and I love the way that the Gold Strike LED lighted flagpole really highlights the Hunter Goldwing. I will include in the description of the video a quick link to where you can purchase the Gold Strike LED flagpole mount for this new style Honda Goldwing. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.